Podcast is going to be episode number 30. Um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a real, um, actually, try to upload one at least tonight. Um, at least one video of this month. <clears throat> um, work and school has been busy. And, uh, I don't think I have a lot, happen to have a lot of time to go see. But I do have a bunch of work practices right now. Um, one, I know I have another topic that I was working on that I, I shared in the last video. I haven't really worked on that in a while, so it's going to be I'll probably finish it later on this year. Um, I did get some mail. I did some, get some um, mail. Um, if you kind of can see it right here, my advent calendar came in from Nitzel Yarns, and I have it hanging on my wall. Um, I did purchase my first. Chloe bag. Um, from her the the holiday collection. And this is um It's in the, um, the hobo, it's the hobo bag, the hobo bag, and, um, so yeah, so this is my, my first hokey bag, and I really like it so far, so, <clears throat> and this, so that's what I, those are some, um, purchases I've recently got. And then in my hokey bag, um, <clears throat> I started another, I started a blanket. And this what I have so far. I started it on Monday. So, and it's just scrap yarn. And I'm using the size. Um, six, uh, uh, four, six to four, uh, point twenty five millimeter hook. Yeah. It's in this bag. So I'm really excited about my purchase with this first, with my first hokey bag. I will probably be buying more from hokey. And then in this bag, um, I started this like last month. And um, it's um, my shawl pattern, my uh, space between lace pattern, shawl pattern. And we're going to try to use up some more yarn. And it's, um, we're going to try super soft, super, super saver, jumbo stripes, and the colorway neon stripes. So, I haven't worked on this in a while either. And then, this project, I might frog it, but it's a shawl that I'm designing for the near future. So, I think I've talked about it in a previous episode too. And then, I've made some progress on where's the book? I've made some progress on the traveling quarter to quarter blanket that I started a year ago. So I have some progress on it. I think the last time I showed it, I was probably right here. It was when I think I was, I was right here when I first, when I showed it last time. So I have a bunch of more rows to go. And by the size of it, I have a, a 
cold bed, I think it's, it's called. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be up to like a queen size bed. Okay. So. I'm excited about this to finish this soon. Those are my, my work in progress right now. Um, and I have two FOs, one F I don't have, I don't have with me because I sent to Chelsea Yards. Um, it's a, it a top that I'm designing and I sent it to her as a gift. Um, I'm gonna still, th I have, I'm gonna try to start figuring out the math so I can start writing the pattern up. Um, this was it before I finished it, so I have a photo. But it's uh, the yoke is crocheted and it has a knit body. So I'm excited for this pattern to come out in the future. I mean, the spring. And then, <clears throat> as of right now, I also have this cow that I designed. And um, when this video is going to be posted tomorrow, when this video is posted, the pattern will be released on my Ravelry and my um, Rippler account. And I designed this cowl. It is a central single crochet. And I called it uh, the fall of fall because the, the trees are from the leaves in the fall. Um, it's supposed to represent leaves on the floor. So. And then you crochet some granny squares, you join them in the round, and then you crochet onto this with a cowl. Um, this one's a smaller one. But it's a nice, it's warm. I like it. And it's all color color work, so you can use two colors. Um have it on my lap right now. Um other than that, I'll try to have a video hopefully next month. Um other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.